Hi, I'm Elena Nikolic, Engineering Director at Google Play. Today, I'm excited to share more about the latest features and developments in Google Play to help you make the most of our platform. Our team's mission is to help users connect with your amazing digital experiences. In the last 12 months, we've seen 116 billion downloads of the apps and games that you created, enjoyed by over 2.5 billion people in more than 190 countries around the world. That's a tremendous achievement, but we're not going to stop there. So today, I'm going to talk about all the ways we're working to power that success even further. I'm going to start by talking about our investment in helping you reach and engage your users. Then I'll talk about the Android app bundle, including a quick look at adoption so far and where we're headed next. I'll talk about improvements we've made to help you test and distribute your games on Google Play. And then finally, I'm going to unveil something our teams have been hard at work on, a new Play console that I think you're really going to like. I'm saving the best for last, but if you really can't wait, feel free to jump ahead. Timestamps for all the sections are listed in the video description below. Before we jump in, I wanted to take a moment to put these improvements in context. Developers can only be successful on Google Play as long as users trust the platform. That's why we build tools like Google Play Protect, which scans over 100 billion apps every day, and last year prevented more than 1.9 billion malware installs from non-play sources. It's also why we've developed privacy-first policies with strict permission controls and why we, we review every app and game for compliance. But we know that simply providing a trustworthy platform for your apps and games is not enough. That's why we're also creating new programs and features to help users discover and stay engaged with your apps and games. In the last few months, we've made more progress to help you capture an even wider audience. Google Play Points, our user rewards program, recently launched in Hong Kong and Taiwan. We're continuing to invest in Play Pass, our curated subscription service, with plans to expand globally later this year. And we've just launched Teacher Approved to help parents find kid-friendly apps and games for their families. A major part of reaching users is the ability to transact with them. With Google Play Billing, we want to help you convert users into buyers. Our commerce platform reaches over 2 billion people in 150 plus countries with over 180 carriers worldwide. And in the past year, we added 60 new local forms of payments in 15 countries. In addition to providing options for different ways to monetize and sell, Google Play Billing also gives you the tools to optimize your selling experience and make it effortless so that you can focus on building a great user experience. If you want to learn more about recent imp improvements we've made to our commerce platform, be sure to check out the What's New in Google Play Billing session as well. The link to this session is in the video description below. And speaking of scale, our other major focus area this year was the Android App Bundle. The App Bundle is our vision for modern app distribution. And we've been so excited to see so many of you using it already. By decreasing your app size, the App Bundle has helped thousands of developers increase their install rate, especially in countries where device storage is at a premium. In fact, one in three apps in production on Google Play right now is published with the Android App Bundle. That's about an 800% increase from this time last year, and adoption is growing daily. Recently, we've seen adoption from major developers like Adobe, eBay, and UC Browser, and there are more new partners every day. In the last few months, we've rolled out lots of improvements and next-generation features based on your feedback. For example, the new App Bundle Explorer in the Play Console helps you understand how Play optimizes your app and lets you download relevant files and assets. You can get an install link for any version you've ever published on Play for testing purposes, and you can also download Play signed APKs for pre-installing on real devices. We've also expanded the App Bundle for games by introducing the Google Play Asset Delivery, which offers free dynamic delivery of game assets. It allows you to package all your assets alongside your game binary and let Play handle the asset delivery for you. It also offers customizable delivery modes, 
auto updates and smart targeting options. It replaces the need to use expansion files, which will be deprecated soon. Our early adopters like Gameloft are reporting great download performance worldwide, as well as substantial increase in the number of users retained. As we continue to improve the app bundle, we expect it to become a requirement for all new apps, sometimes in 2021. So if you haven't made the switch yet, now is a great time to do so. Play Asset Delivery is only one of the many updates we've made to help you improve your games. We've also introduced a new day one auto install feature to pre-registration to help you build uh, excitement before your launch and accelerate early downloads. Android Performance Tuner is a new tool to help you measure your frame rate performance and graphical fidelity and to optimize between the two. This will help you achieve stable frame rates at scale across the whole Android device ecosystem so you can deliver higher quality game experiences to more Android users with less effort. It's available for integration for everyone from today and there is also a new Unity plugin to make it even easier to integrate into Unity games. Another new feature, Native Crash Symbolication lets you upload your symbol files so your crashes and ANRs are symbolicated in both Android Vitals and pre-launch report. This lets you debug your game's stability issues more easily. This feature is available now so you can start uploading with your next release or even with your current release. But that's not all we've been working on this year. What I'm most excited to talk about today is a huge update we've made to Google Play Console. This is a very up exciting update for me personally. I've worked on the console from its earliest days, starting as an engineer and now leading the whole engineering team. Over time, I've seen the console grow organically from a few pages to hundreds of pages and dozens of features to help everyone in your organization. And it's been so gratifying to see our developer community grow and thrive. There are now over 900,000 individual monthly console users, including developers of all sizes, from one-person shops to companies with literally hundreds of console users. The console has grown with you, and in trying to keep up with your amazing growth, the console became a little wild and disorganized. So last year, we decided to redesign it from the ground up so we could continue to suit the needs of modern Android developers. It's taken years of hard work from our teams, but I'm happy to say that today you can try the beta of your new Play console. We think of ourselves as partners in your success on Play, and with the beta preview, we really want your feedback. Because the new console has been designed for you to be fundamentally more helpful. It helps you find, discover, and understand features to thrive on Play. It helps guide you through policy changes, release status, user feedback, and what you should do next. It helps your team take advantage of our features while keeping you safe with new team member management options. And it helps you understand your performance with brand new acquisition insights. I'm really excited to show you around. The first thing you'll notice is that the new console is clearer and easier to use. We've updated the navigation, so it now groups related features in one place like all your acquisition setup and reporting tools or everything you need for monetization. Over the next few weeks, beta layouts will also be updated with a new responsive design, helping you to use the console no matter where you are and what device you find yourself on. Key flows are now more focused. For example, the new releases overview gives you a snapshot of all your tracks, so now you can see information about your internal, closed, and open testing tracks as well as your production tracks all in one place. You can also quickly see how many users are testing your app or the latest countries that you've rolled out to. You'll find this reorganization in the nav menu as well, clearly differentiating between different types of a release. We've also rewritten a feature formerly known as time publishing into a new expanded flow called managed publishing. In Play's early days, Developer changes were usually published within a few hours, but the growth of the developer ecosystem and our focus on user safety has meant that the publishing turnaround time has naturally expanded. As a result, we're overhauling the publishing flows to make it easier to review a summary of your updates and control when they're published on Google Play. So 
Now from your app list and dashboards, you can see the update status of all your apps at a glance. But your update status isn't the only place where the new console is more helpful and communicative. Important information is now even easier to find with more ways to get the answers you need fast. The new policy status and app content sections make it easier for you to provide all the information Google Play needs to confirm your apps are compliant with policies. And launching soon, we're adding an inbox to make sure you never miss any important messages, suggestions, or milestones from Google Play. Many of you have told us that you don't feel like you're using the full capabilities of the console because you're not aware of what's available. So we've invested in building more onboarding resources for you. Every feature in the console now has an education page that tells you what the feature is, how it can help you, and the best practices for using it. And these pages are available without sign-in in case you need to share them with colleagues who don't use console. We've also heard that sometimes you just want to jump in right into the feature that you want. That's why we're soon going to be rolling out console-wide unified search, which will encompass all features, help resources, and metric definitions. Okay, so we know that you really value Play Console's role in helping you understand your performance on Play through acquisition reporting. So we use the redesign as an opportunity to supercharge this area. You told us the trends and the story they tell about the impact of your changes had become a critical resource. You also told us that you value the unique insights the console offers, such as conversion rates and search terms. That's why the redesigned acquisition reports make it easy to monitor your performance trends so you can easily track the positive impact of your team's work. Advanced filters and dimensions let you drill down by acquisition type and region to really understand your performance. For instance, did your campaign to increase organic installs in France pay off? Now you can find out. Acquisition reports are only one of the many features, insights, tools, and data that the new Play Console includes to help every member of your team, from your engineers, to your marketing managers, to your executives. But we know that granting broad access to everyone in your organization could be a challenge, with permissions that were sometimes hard to understand and a UI that made managing large numbers of team members difficult. That's why we've really focused on enhancing team member management with better, more granular controls. You'll see clear permission names and descriptions so you can easily understand what you are and aren't allowing people to do. There's also much clearer differentiation between global and app level permissions. And we've added full user search and bulk edit capabilities to make management of your teams easier. These are just our first few steps towards giving you more granular controls. We know you want more and we're just getting started. I really think you're going to love the new console and I'm so excited for you to try it out. In fact, the beta is available to everyone today. Just visit play.google.com slash console to check it out. Because this is still a beta, we would love your feedback to help us make it even better for you. So try it out and let us know what you think. We hope you enjoy the new programs, features, and updates we've been working on this year, including the new Play Console. We can't wait to see how you use them to grow your businesses and optimize your apps and games. We'll share even more next month during Play's Week in 11 weeks of Android 11. Until then, thank you for being part of our community. Mm -hmm.